Good. Passes that chair. Passes that chair for Bob. Okay, chaps, ladies, thanks everybody for coming in. Firstly, firstly, I'd like to thank everybody for being a part of this event and making it what it's been. This event really epitomises what Ricky Atten has been, is now and will be in the future, which is big events, big venues and sell-out crowds. What Ricky's done, and I tried to say this the other day and I do mean it, when we look back five or six months, myself, Jennifer, David, Bob, Rick himself, what he's done is absolutely nothing short of miraculous. And to get where, where he's sat today, and to have the contentment he's had today, and to have the answers that he wanted and have those today is, is just nothing short of miraculous. It's, it's unbelievable what he's done. We're going to keep it relatively short and sweet. We're just going to let Ricky say a few words, and we're just going to have a few questions, if that's OK, a few selected questions when I point you out, and then we'll, uh, we'll move on from there. OK. I'll pass you over to Rick. I have um, <clears throat> you know, no complaints, you know, I've uh, three and a half years, it's well documented the story, you know, of where I was and where I'd been and how bad it had got. And I needed to um, put a few things to bed, you know, you know, put a few demons to rest and a few ghosts to sleep and, um, you know, I, I said before the fight, win, lose or draw, I feel I've already won. And the opinion is still not the same, it's still hasn't changed. I still think I've won. Um, you know, I turned around and said, you know, of course I, I want to fight for world titles, I'd like to fight this guy, I'd like to fight that guy. Uh, but before I do, I said, let me sit, let me prove myself on November 24th. Um, and we you know we, we found out tonight, you know, it isn't there no more. And um, I, I said to you, and I wasn't, I'd like to think you've known me long enough now to know that I'm a I'm a straight shooter, and I, you know, I, I say the truth, you know, uh, and I said after the fight, I can look at myself in the mirror, even if I did get beat, you know what I mean, I can look at myself in the mirror and go, oh, Rick, you know what, you should be proud of yourself, you give it your best. Well, I just looked at myself in the mirror and I, I did give it my best. And, uh, you know, the team was saying to me, don't make any rash decisions, you know, you. You know, you, you were four or five rounds up, you know, against a you know, former world champion, you know, you'd only lost one in 31, and, you know, it, it was one body shot, everything like that, but, you know, as much, they are right, but that's what I did three years ago, when I was, when I retired the first time. I was making excuses, you know, you know, there's always, there's always an excuse to find, isn't there, you know, well, it was Mayweather, and, you know, well, it was Manny Pacquiao, they were the two best pound for pound, and it was a bad training camp, wasn't it, and, you know, you, you, you're able to pick these things out of the air, you'll find enough, if, if you want to make an excuse, you'll find them, you know, and, uh, and the top and bottom of it is today, you know, I need to find out whether I still have it, and I haven't, <clears throat> I, um, I got him the best shape I could possibly get him. Bob Shannon really whipped me up into Bob J. I wish I'd have trained with Bob a few years ago, to be honest with you, because some of the stuff that Bob did was absolutely miraculous in the, you know, in the gym what we did. But um, you know, I think I was four rounds up. But I think even if uh, if he hadn't caught me with that body shot and I'd have got over the finish line and I'd have just scraped on with a point win, I still think I'd be telling you the same thing. I'm, I, you, you, a fighter knows when they're in there. And I knew, you know, it just isn't there no more. You know, I think it's too many, you know, I've had hard fights, I've burnt the candle at both ends, I've lost four and a half stone for the build up of this. You know, in the ring, you know, you know, I, I mean, I put my body through the mire, you know, and obviously, you know, I'll, I'll live by the sword and I'll die by the sword. I put my body through the mire and out of the ring, and, uh, 
you know, it didn't matter how much she trained, you know, I was sharp, I couldn't have done anything better. My sparring was great, my movement was great and everything. That bell went and uh, whether those four rounds up or not, I know. I don't need anyone to tell me I know. And what, what, what should I do then? What should I, should, I, should I dwell on it like I did last time? Oh, you've still got it, Rick, you can have one more go. It was me, it was Patty, I want it, you know. I know, and I'm not going to put myself through that torture again, you know. Of, I'm not going to put Jennifer through it. I'm not going to put my loved ones through it. You know, um, if I don't do it, I'm not the fight. If I don't, you know, draw a line in the sand now and call it a day on my boxing career, you know, I'm, I'm never going to do it, you know. And uh, I, I've, I've got the answers. I mean, obviously, I was in the ring, I was heartbroken, I was crying, and uh, no doubt I'll probably cry tonight. But um, I'm happy, honestly. I'm happy I needed to go in and find out, and I found it out. It's not there no more. And I'd like to think I, I get the respect for like I've always done from the fans for three and a half years, picking a former world champion, talk about straight in at the deep end, you know. <coughs> I needed to find out if I could mix it again at world level, and I got my answer, I can. And uh, I had some great fights, some great wins, you know. I've never done anything easy, I picked an Irish opponent, you know, and it's. Uh, I didn't come off tonight. I think, I've got to watch the tape, I think it was four or five rounds up by my mind. I, I felt I was winning, but everything was, everything was like heavy weather, wasn't it? You know, even though it was four or five rounds up, everything, a fighter knows when we're in there, everything was forced, wasn't it? It was forced, it was forced, it was forced, I was missing, you know, and I don't need, you know, what's it going to take? You know, someone put a gun to me and go, no, you'll be all right. You know what I mean? It, it's not there no more. And I'm very, very proud. I've got the answers. I worked hard. I've got my body in shape. You know, I'm, I'm a happy man now. You know, I don't feel like putting a knife to my wrist. I don't feel like killing myself. You know, I don't feel like I, I feel happy. I've got the answers I needed tonight, and I'm, I'm very proud of the team. Everyone at Art Promotions. You know, you all know who they are. That's been there. Jennifer. You know, me, my whole, my whole team. All the gym lads, like Bob Shannon's, that you know, have helped me through it. You know, just. Everyone that has, um, you know, that has been there for me to help me, give me the best opportunity, but I found out, and uh, it's as upsetting as it is, I think I'm being the man now and saying, listen, they're giving me best, it wasn't there, but that's the end of uh, Ricky Hatton, and I'd like to thank the family. <laughs>
I'm a different man now. I'm going to be the, you know, the best father I can be to my kids. I'm, um, I'm going to be, you know, and, and, you know go, I, can, go, I can go in that gym Monday, you know, and, and, and train the boys and try and be the best trainer, try and be the best promoter I can be. And there's, you know, there's no way of going back. You know, I, you know, at the end of the day, you know, it was so hard for me to retire the first time. You know, and I, I, I knew it was gone, you know, and I kept on it, kept on it, kept on it, and then eventually wound myself in so much trouble, you know. I'm not going to do it again, I know now, you know what I mean? I'm going to be the best father, the best, best boyfriend I can be, the best coach, the best promoter, and I can go into retirement as a happy man. You know, nobody wants to, you know, have the last fight, or the last two fights in this case, where they've got knocked out. But I, I said I needed to put the ghosts to bed, I need to put some demons, I need to find out what I've found out, you know, and I'm, I'm a happy man. I mean, I'm not smiling too much now. I'll get up in the morning and I'll, I'll be, I'm, I'm very I'm content. I'm happy with my life and you won't win, you know, there won't be no Ricky Fattens again, you know what I mean? While, while Ricky's in such a healthy frame of mind and a healthy state, you know, that's, that's, that's what I'm going to keep it there, you know. Yep. Anyone else? Kev? Can I just reiterate what John just said then? It's been a great ride, right from your first fight in Witness. Brilliant ride. Well done. Hope you carry on in your training. Thank you. Thanks, Kev. Well, Kev, his legacy is going to be, you know, like he's just said, everybody's going to say, is there going to be another Ricky Hatton? Because that is how big Ricky's been as a boxer. You know, is there going to be another one? And like we say, it might be a long time. You know, we don't know what it's going to be. But that's Ricky's legacy. He's always going to be mentioned as the biggest boxer that Britain's ever produced. And, you know, that'll take some beating. Anybody else? Great Jeff? legacy. Yeah, that'll be the legacy. Jeff? I just to say the worst for the crowd of England as it's always been. Thank you, Pat. I don't think we've seen anything else sporting wise in this country that will ever probably meet that night when you beat Dr. Zoom here. Um, I know personally that was one of the most incredible nights in my life. Um, just to say thanks for everything that you've done over the years. Thank you very much. Um, <laughs> do you feel now that it's if uh, tonight giving you closure? Yeah. In some ways, in, in one chapter of your life. Two, yeah, two hundred percent. You know, uh, you know, the team was saying to me, "Don't make any hasty decisions." And I went, "Well, you know, putting it off is what drove me, you know, to where I was last time. It drove me crackers, you know, to be honest with you." Now, come on, Ricky, you can. And I was trying to find excuses. I was picking them out from under the carpet, looking in the wardrobe. Oh yeah, you know, and you'll always find some excuses, you know. But I've, 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 I've run out of them now. I, uh, you know, I give him. I want to find out. I give my best go. And people say, well, you could have picked an easier opponent. Yeah, but then he wouldn't have told me. I need to find out whether I had it at world level still. You know what I mean? What would have if I'd have picked an opponent? I could have maybe no disrespect flattened in two rounds. You know, what would that have proved? That still would have proved that I could have done it at world level. I picked him. You know, for the reason because I needed to find out, and I found out. And I, you know, I'm 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 proud of myself. You know, I. Um, you know, it's I so what it so 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 bad. You know what I mean? I trained so hard from where I come from. You know the the agony is. I mean, you could do a bleeding film on it from where I come from. You know, it, it's uh, in part work. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, <laughs> but it was uh, you know, but it, it's not there no more. You know, and I've got to be man enough. I've got I've got to be a good enough father got big enough to say listen Rick you know how many times do you need knocking on your ass before you know you haven't got it well I know now and I'm happy I give it a good a good go and that's that you know and I, I just the, the fans were just unbelievable you know when I was trying to you know get up for that body shot hit me I was counting them the I was listening to the referee but come on Rick come on Rick you can do it you know because I could hear the fans going <laughs> When it got to seven, eight, you could hear them all going, come on, you know. <laughs> and I just thought, I'm sorry, guys, I can't, you know. And, you know, that's, that's that. I'm, I'm happy, I'm happy. I mean, I, I honestly am happy. Last one, then, please. If you had one, do you think it would have been too difficult to make the decision? No, I think, so I said to Richard, um, I said if I'd, have, if I'd have got up and I'd have just squeezed home over the finishing line, I still think I'd been making the same decision. Well, we'd, al we'd already discussed that no matter what happened tonight, that we'd, we'd sit down together next week and then make a decision on what we honestly thought, not not what anybody else thought, what we honestly thought. So it, it wouldn't, I mean, obviously they've been fantastic to go out on a win, but maybe that's the closure he needs that he doesn't go out on a win. 
but yeah, we, we, would, we would have sat in it together next week and made it probably the same decision. It's like, it's like these excuses, which aren't they? You know, like if it had just squeezed up, I'd have turned around and said, Oh, I haven't got it no more. But you know, six or seven weeks had passed, and I thought, Well, it wasn't that bad after all, really, was it? Well, he, you know, he was a former world champion, yeah, and he'd only lost one fight out of 31, and then before you know it, you'd ask him back in the ring again, innit? You know, I haven't got it. I wish I had. I tried. I haven't. You know, and it felt being a man because, I mean, I'm not going to put my family through it again. So, on that, it's up with and onwards. Like I say, it's upwards and onwards. We'll let you know what Ricky's doing in the in the short term, what fights we've got coming up, what shows we've got coming up, what boxes we've got on, uh, and we'll be we'll be feeding stuff out, and you'll be continuing to see the Ricky Atten story, and we'll still keep we'll keep working hard to try and find another Ricky Atten. So thanks for everybody who's come. Thanks for support, guys. Yeah, thanks for everything you've done to to uh, support this event. Thanks to all the team. Thanks to Jen. Thanks to everybody who's made it what it is tonight. Make sure the fans, the fans get a mention. And, the, uh, and them 18 and a half thousand people. I mean, oh, yeah. I know what you just said to us about the uh, the Koshi Zulf spike, but I thought the emotion in the arena and the, the goodwill towards him in the crowd were absolutely incredible. I thought it was better than the yeah. Koshi Zulf fight. I thought there was more of an atmosphere because of, I think that the, the fans wanted me to do it so bad because they knew where it had been and how hard it took me to get there. I think they found that little bit of extra. Come on, son. <laughs> Just didn't have it. We'll, uh, we'll come down to London in a few weeks and we'll, we'll have a lunch and let you know what we're doing going forward. Okay, thanks everybody, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.